today we're going to be working on removing this old factory stereo and installing a new one. Nothing fancy, it's a cheap little kit I got for Christmas, but this will be better than no radio at all. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. First thing we're going to do is remove this little pocket right here. Press it down on that, you're able to pull it out. And then right here, you got one screw there and one screw there. We'll go ahead and move those next. We got both screws out. It's just a Phillips head screw. So we got those removed. And next step is to go up to the climate control and you just pry that off with the screwdriver. So you get behind it and you pry it. That's just held on by clips. So, there you go. Got that side off. You're gonna wanna be careful not to break anything. Just go behind it. There goes that clip. There goes the last one. So right there you can see Looks like it's got three clips. You just pry that off and then we'll get access to those Phillips screws right there next to the clock. Now that we got both Phillips screws off, the clock should come out. So that's out right there and we'll just disconnect it at the rear. So we got the clock out. Those two screws, one on the left, one on the right one plug now it looks like this next thing we're gonna do is get these screws out right here you got one right there and one right there so after we get those two screws out we should be able to pop it pop off this whole wood grain and get access to the radio behind it we removed the screws and now this pops off I already popped it off so it's gonna be pretty easy so this will come off Got a few plugs back here. You can disconnect that to get everything out. Then it gives you access to all the four bolts to hold the radio in. So we disconnect both plugs. This goes to the clock. That goes to the cigarette lighter. And that looks like it's the defroster. So you got those two plugs off. Take out the wood grain trim. Now it gives you access to the four bolts that hold the radio in, so we'll do that. With the four screws removed, we went ahead and pulled this out. We got all three plugs disconnected and then both antenna wires disconnected, so this is officially out. And the harness I bought for the new radio looks like it's a Metra. Part number is 70-1761. It's for a 1987 and up Toyota, so we'll use this harness to adapt the new radio to it. Change of plans. Instead of using that single DIN radio, I'm going to be using this new Sony double DIN radio. It has Apple CarPlay, has all the bells and whistles. The reason for that is that the single DIN radio wasn't going to work with the stock mounting brackets. You got a bracket on each side. So those brackets came off of the stock stereo. It's got four mounting points on each side. Removed all four screws. Installed onto the new one, new hardware. So now that's gonna go and bolt into the factory location. To make this a bit easier, I threw it into low gear. Probably gonna break on so it doesn't roll back. Now it gives us more room to go and install the, the actual stereo. So here we got the new harness that, com that comes with the stereo. And that goes into the Metro harness kit that I bought. And that goes into the factory wire harness right there. We don't use a blue plug anymore, that's not needed. Right here you can see the stock antenna plugged in. And then this wire right here is for the microphone that comes with the actual stereo. So I'm just running that 
behind the harness and it's gonna be right here so that's gonna work out good now we just stuff everything back into that cubby and install the stereo so we'll do that right now we got all four mounting bolts in two on each side now we're gonna go key on we'll see if it powers on the radio there it goes Looks like it's in demo mode. We'll just hit OK for now. Oh, we'll take that off. Looks like we're going to be good to go. So I'll continue to reinstall everything same way I took it off. That's the end result right there. No trimming, no modifying, no extra mounting kit was needed. It's just the stereo with the factory mounting brackets bolted into the factory location looks really good it's gonna sound way better and give you more options than the factory radio so quick write-up on how I did it nothing was too hard you don't really have to mess with any of this over here that's just so I could run the external mic and upgrade the speakers all that was really needed was to remove center trim piece and everything right here and that's it